fourth Walgreens is now closing in Boston in a predominantly black and Latino neighborhood. And tonight, neighbors who rely on that pharmacy are furious. As WBZ's Tiffany Chan shows us, they say it's more than just an inconvenience. The store shelves are empty and the signs are up, alerting customers that this Roxbury Walgreens will be closed for good at the end of the month. How are they supposed to go get their medicine? It's sparking concern and outrage from residents who rely on the Warren Street Drug Store in this predominantly black neighborhood. What happens to our seniors and our single parents that have no way to get to a Walgreens or another pharmacy anywhere near their home? And so we think it's insensitive, it's unjust. Reverend Miniard Culpepper points to the senior housing developments just steps from the Walgreens and questions how the elderly will get their medications, especially after the pharmacy chain closed their stores in Hyde Park, Nubian Square, and Mattapan about a year ago. Walgreens says they're downsizing, but the Reverend calls it nothing short of corporate greed. Why do you think they target black and brown communities? I think because they get no pushback. But they're now getting pushed back. Protesting alongside dozens of other frustrated customers fighting to keep this Walgreens open. Don't we need to have something in the community to help the black, the elderly, the sick? You know what I'm saying? They can't go far. The problem boils down to accessibility, says former Boston NAACP president turned health care advocate Michael Curry. The communities where they're closing these pharmacies are communities where people are uh, disparately impacted by disease, you know, two or three times higher rates in cancer, diabetes, heart disease, where life expectancy can be 15, 20 years less. While this isn't the only Walgreens or pharmacy chain set to close location in the coming weeks, Curry says it begs this question. What is your obligation? What is your expectation as a corporate citizen to do what's right for those communities beyond what's right just for your bottom line. And in the spirit of fighting, members of the community planned a rally outside of this Walgreens on Friday, January 12th, in hopes of sparking some change, hoping that this pharmacy is here to stay. From Roxbury, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News. It's really hard not to have a pharmacy close to your home. Well, particularly for those people who, for whom it is really hard to leave the neighborhood. Yeah, don't have cars and public transportation. That Doesn't can be tough. Work.